It's cool seeing wrestlers in movies, but it's even better when they reference their wrestling background. Before he was in big blockbuster movies, John Cena was in the Fred movies, where he played the father of the title character. The movies, based on a series of YouTube videos, follow a kid named Fred. In the second film, Fred starts believing that he's being haunted. Luckily, Fred has his imaginary father to help him out, who of course is John Cena. Cena gives his son a pep talk, and before he leaves, he says, Wait! Wait, Dad! You can't see me! Yeah, I can. In the third Fred movie, Fred goes to summer camp, but it ends up being a living nightmare. Luckily, he finds a refrigerator, and guess who's inside? Dad Cena. Unfortunately, the camp is just too gross and disgusting for the 16-time world champion, and he pieces out, but not without saying, You can't see me! Thanks a lot, Dad. You've been a great help, and in case you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Hey, the Fred movie made the John Cena's Invisible joke before it was a meme. Since he's been in so many movies, it's not surprising that The Rock has slipped in some of his legendary catchphrases. The Great One snuck one of them into his 2013 film, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Rock is the second in command of the G.I. Joe, and after completing a mission early in the movie, Rocky says this. Yo, all I've been accounted for, not a single drop of blood. Boots to asses. Yes, sir. Another time The Rock brought a bit of his wrestling background to Hollywood was in the movie Be Cool. The People's Champion plays a bodyguard for a music promoter. However, The Rock's character's big dream is to, get this, be an actor, and he has one signature trick he can do. You know, I walk into a club, and I see a guy like you, and I say, he's got the look, but does he have the talent? Can he act? Watch this. Speaking of The Rock, years later, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment would star in the Fast and the Furious spin-off movie, Hobbs and Shaw. Not only that, but Roman Reigns would also appear in the film. Roman plays The Rock's brother, and in the climax of the movie, they have to take down a small army with just their fists. This leads to a lot of action, and Roman Reigns throws in his signature WWE taunt. <laughs> Santa's Sleigh is a horror movie that features Goldberg as an evil killer Santa Claus. It's alright, but one of the best parts is what the master of the jackhammer says at the very end. Who's next? Big Money Hustlers is a movie starring the Insane Clown Posse, both of whom are former WWE wrestlers, but that's not who I'm going to talk about. In the film, a streetwise detective named Sugar Bear is trying to take down a crime lord named Big Baby Sweets. In Sugar Bear's quest to bring Big Baby to justice, he finds himself in a wrestling ring with Mick Foley, who's in his Cactus Jack persona, or Cactus Sack as the movie calls him. Despite that, Foley says several of his iconic catchphrases from his different characters. <laughs> Have a nice day! Damn, that's not my line anymore. Oh, have mercy! God damn it! That's that idiot. Baby! That's the line! Baby! 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 Ten years later, the Insane Clown Posse starred in another movie called Big Money Rustlers. It was similar to the first, but with a western setting. Also like the previous movie, it features several wrestling stars, including the bad guy, Scott Hall. The WWE Hall of Famer plays Sign Guy, who keeps updating the town's population as people die throughout the film, which happens quite a bit. At the very end of the movie, Hall's the last man alive, and he says this. Look at me now. Look at me now. Last man in Mudbug. No one uno, chico. So give it up for the bad guy. During the height of his NWO era, Hollywood Hulk Hogan made a brief but pretty cool cameo in the movie Muppets from Space. In the film, Gonzo finds out that he's actually an alien. He hopes to make contact with his own kind and is tricked into being taken to a secret government facility. As it turns out, Hulk Hogan is working with these guys and the first thing he says is... This is for all my NWI out <laughs> But the Hulkster still drops his most iconic catchphrase. Hollywood, what are your fans gonna think? Hey, what you gonna do? I'm a bad guy now. <laughs> Wanna find out why Roman Reigns has a little dog? Yes you do, and you can learn why by watching this video.